Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be setting up our April setup for our budget. So yeah, let's get started. page I always do is set up our monthly check-in and today I'm going to be using purple and teal washi tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, white out this hexagon here. And I'm still missing my ruler. I'm just gonna use some my gym card that isn't getting put to use right now because the gym is still closed. So there we have our washi tape down. And get all of my budget stickers here ready. First sticker will be our monthly check-in. So there we go. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the questions. I'm gonna be using my .38. I have a bunch of them that are on the way um, because I am almost out because I've been using these so much. Absolutely my favorite pen. So the five questions for my monthly check-in are what were our biggest wins for the month? Did we meet our budget? If not, why not? Did we achieve this month's goals? If not, why not? What is one thing we learned this month by tracking our expenses? And number five, we will do this in one month to improve. And so that is my monthly check-in. We fill it out after the end of the month. Um, for example, if we flip back to March, March isn't done yet because March isn't completely over. So my husband and I will be sitting down at the end of the month and filling this one out. So next we're going to be setting up our bill page, which is this page right here. Uh, if you're new here, things in Norway are done a little different. And for every bill that we have, we get a kid number which is basically like a tracking number in the banking system, and we have to include that. So even uh, bills that are recurring, we have different uh, tra transaction numbers or kid numbers every month, so I have to write those down. So I create this page called my bill paying page um, to keep track of all of them this around for some reason it's always easier to lay washi tape upside down so there is my top washi and then I'm just gonna do a purple strip down at the bottom This washi tape is not good, very good, so I'm going to use my slice to um, cut. There we go. I'm just going to be using, um, I'm just going to be using my stickers from the Functional Planner Company. It says bills. And that looks about eh, close enough. So that is my bills page. I don't have any bills to currently write down because uh, it is the beginning or the end of March. And so we have, I've paid everything up until now. Um, so, but as the bills start coming in for April, uh, I'll start writing them down. So next will be my dashboard. Um, and the reason why I'm going with purple and teal is my kit 
for um, tule plants is pink, purple, and a little bit of greenish teal. So I thought the teal would work really well. So next I'm gonna set up the dashboard page. I'm going to white out uh, the top of this. And last time I did not write out, white out the month, but I'm going to do that this time. There we go. And I'm going to lay some washi tape. And I'm actually gonna do two layers of washi tape this time to cover more of the section up. So there we go. Um, need to get my months from Functional Planner Company and my April down. So there we have that. And then I'm using the header stickers for the other section. So for here, instead of birthdays, where it says monthly goals I just cover it up with a pink sticker that says goals and I'm gonna add the purple washi tape I'm just gonna use a blank glitter. So I'm just gonna use a blank glitter sticker there. I haven't really found it good use to use this section for right now. So if anyone has any ideas of what I can use this section for, I kind of change it every month. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use for this month. Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think I can use this section with. So typically I use these round dots for the goal section here, but I think I'm actually going to use the flags this month um, to give it a little different and to break up the color. So there are my stickers for my goals. So right now I'm just going to, um, let's take a look at March's goals to see how we did. Um, we... My goal was to read, I will teach you to be rich. And I did that uh, to contribute 5,000 to savings. We did not finish that and we're not going to finish that, but we did contribute a good chunk to saving, savings. Uh, we did finish paying off 5,000 kroner in debt and we did watch our personal spending. Um, so for next month or for April, my goals are going to be to add an additional 3,000 kroner to savings to pay off 2,000 kroner in debt. And our entire goal for the beginning of this year was to pay off as much debt as possible. But with the whole coronavirus going on, if you didn't see my March video, uh, I would definitely go watch that. I'll link that in the cards above. But I have been temporarily unemployed because I work in tourism. And so in April, my income is not going to be as much as it would have been if I worked. Not to mention my husband lost um, a lot of extra guiding hours as well as I lost extra hours for the cruise ships that were supposed to come at the end of March. 
Um, so we had to adjust our payoff plan a bit so that we could um, hunker down and put more in savings to make sure because we honestly don't know how long this is going to last. And we need to be prepared to pay all, all of our bills and that's what our emergency fund is. But until we know when I might be going back to work, we're going to keep beefing up our savings account and paying less towards debt. Um, also because I don't know what income my income is going to be in April. Uh, so I can't really take a good estimate of what we are going to be able to put towards savings and what we're going to pay towards debt right now, uh, because the government will be paying my salary. So it's a little weird right now. Um, a lot of things are up in the air and a lot of things need to be worked out. So yeah. So the next, um, goal is going to be... So the next goal is to read You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sinzadra. And the final goal will be to um, watch how much we spend on groceries. So those are our goals. Um, Important things I need to remember, I have to log in to NAV every two weeks so I can get my money. And yeah, that's all I have for there right now. Um, next, we're going to be setting up our monthly spread. So like I said, my monthly kit is from Tuli Plans. Um, she is located in Sweden. And the reason why I chose her for my uh, stickers is one, I really like her designs, uh, but two, she has Monday starts. And for Erin Condren, they always start on Sunday and I like my days to start on Monday. So, are my weeks to start on Monday. <laughs> that one and we'll flip it over and do the other side and there's um a couple of reasons why I prefer a Monday start versus a Sunday start the first thing is that here in Norway, everything is done by week numbers. We use week numbers, so one week one, week two, week three, week four, so on. And the week starts on Monday, so that's one reason. The second reason is I really like my weekends to be together. And then thirdly, it just kind of makes sense that the week starts on Monday for me. I have it just does so I really like it that way so since I didn't use um, these dots for my to-do list like I normally do I'm gonna put one right there and then um, I'm just going to work through putting my numbers into place so
there those are and then I normally use uh, I have a lot of pink so we're gonna use this purple one to cover up here we will still be getting my husband's paycheck because he's considered an essential worker so that is there I'm still going to be getting my school money which would come here and then we will still be getting oops barn and trade here which is money from the government for the kids so that is there there we go so Barnetrick will be 2,108 corner, and Lona Carlson 5,420 and 20, but, and then my husband's paycheck, I don't write that down until I get it. And so those are our income sources for the month right now. Um, like I said, I don't know where my income, my income is going to come from the government. I just don't know which days it's going to come in yet. So next we're going to move to build do stickers. Um, I have these stickers. I still can't remember where I got these from. I have to try to find out. The regular bills that normally come out are Easy Bank on use the lighter ones on the first and I had the fourth and the fifth we have the fifteenth and we have the twentieth the bill due on the first is our easy bank and that's 3,177 kroner. So the next bill due on the 4th is our car loan. So that's DMB. And the amount is 2,894. And the next on the 5th is rent. And that's 10,000 kroner a month. And on the 15th is my husband's Santander account. And we also have... I'm going to put it on the 14th because it's also on the 15th. Alta crop log, which is our two um, internet bills, one for here and one at the cabin. And because we just took over paying the cabin, I have to check how much it is. 883.66. Um, my husband's sand tender should be 980 kroner. So on the 25th, this is our utility bill, but I won't know it until our landlord sends it. This is our insurance, and this I have to check because it went up a little more last month. Not much, just enough that it makes a difference. 2224 and 33 order. So there are um, the bills right now, our main bills that come out. Cell phone. I always seem to forget the cell phone. The cell phone also comes out here. But of course, I don't know how much that will be until they send the invoice out because it changes every month. So I'll just write Telenor. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Nope. That is it. So those are all of my bills put in place. Um, over here on the side, I write down our kids' bank balances, but I have to log in to check those. And then once I pay the bills, I just check them off. For example, um, Easy Bank is actually already paid for April, um, so we won't pay that again until Mar May 5th. Uh, I paid it a little earlier. And then once I find out how much our utilities are and how much our cell phone is, I will write those down. Yeah, I'm just going to add some, actually, I'm going to cover up where I wrote his name and write it here. And then I'll do the same with our daughters. Of course, I have to use pink for her because she's obsessed with pink. And we have her. So then I can fill out that account. 
The good thing is that Easter is this month, so um, we will be leaving to go to the cabin on Tuesday uh, the 7th, and we will be gone until Saturday. So we'll probably go through a little more gas, but we won't be going to the mall or anything like that, so our spending should be a lot less uh other than groceries so hopefully that'll help this month um and check back when i set up the rest of my pages for april my budget and so on i have a feeling a lot of things are going to change throughout the month but i'll keep you updated as best as i can about the situation here i hope that if you're in a similar similar situation that you have some savings and you're not extremely stressed about it that is actually why we started on um the baby steps and really working to pay off our debt um was we didn't want to be in the position of being worried all the time about money and thankfully we have actually paid off enough debt um that we still have a long ways to go till we're comfortable, but we're not hurting right now. Uh, we can make all the minimum payments, we can do what we need to do, and so on. Um, so I hope that you stay safe, I hope that you stay well, and I hope that you start working on your financial situation or that you prepare for this time and that you can work it out so that it's not such a challenge. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. Um, make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up and make sure to share it and hit that subscribe button and check back later on to see the actual budget number with the real numbers uh, for April. See you later. Bye.